What's up everybody, my name is Twisted, welcome to a brand new video, and today's video is going to probably be a short video because the video I'm working on right now is just kicking my ass at the moment, so I decided to work on a different video for today. Plus, this video is going to go up really, really late, and I apologize for that, but I really don't want to miss a day of uploading since I'm trying to get videos out every day, but I know you just don't care. So, the topic for today is, should comic book characters be included in Sonic the Hedgehog games, or Sonic games for that matter. Now the reason why I decided I'd choose this topic to talk about today, or actually talk about this in general, is because of, of the whole Archie Sonic fans being pissed off that Tingle and Whisper are being included in Sonic Forces Speed Battle, and that, that quite frankly brought up another question, it's like well should any combo characters be included in Sonic games? And in my personal opinion, I think it's a giant yes, because, you know, like, if, okay, look, 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 here's my whole take about this, is that before if Sega or Sonic Team includes any combo characters whatsoever, they have to at least use the characters that they are using right now. Like, you know, Sonic Forces, almost, like, not, not like the entire Sonic roster, but like the very major ones like Silver, Vector, Amy, Rouge, Shadow, like some of the, or even like Charmy and Espio, those, those characters are used in as like the resistance, like their only role in that, in those, in that game, Sonic Forces, is to be part of their resistance and help fight back against Dr. Egg Eggman. So like, I want each character to be used properly, like to, to their own personality, to their own like, like I I don't know how to perfectly describe it, but like I want each character to be used, you know, like properly. You know what I'm saying? Not like throw them in like a, in a team and be called a resistance to fight Eggman or something like that. No, I want them to have their own personalities, their own like goals, their own character growth, their own, but you know, their own backstory. You know, that type of thing. So if Sega or Sonic Team can do that with their own characters, then yes, they should include combo characters because the reason why I think it's a good idea for, for them to include combo characters is for them to expand the roster and for them to introduce like more characters and have more characters interact with other characters, you know what I'm saying? But the, the specific characters I want to see in Sonic games is Tangle, Whisper, and Dr. Starlight. Because if we can have Dr. Starlight in the Sonic games, then we can have the, you know, the whole Zombot storyline. Because that will be a really interesting concept, or a really interesting storyline to adapt that into a brand new Sonic game, in my opinion. And also, if we have Tangle Whisper there, then we can have, like, potentially more playable characters. Besides, like, you know, the usual Sonic Tails or Knuckles, maybe Amy, maybe Shadow. Maybe Silver the Hedgehog, but if we include Tangle Whisper, we could have, you know, more interactions with other characters. We could that could open up a door for more, I guess, stories. That could open a door for even more games to include those characters, or even have their those characters have their own games. But that's a slightly, uh, that's a slightly, slightly unlikely because Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh. Yeah, that's like my whole take on it. It's like, yeah, if I want to see combo characters, then yes, I want to see combo characters because that'll expand the roster, that'll have, that'll introduce more gameplay styles, that'll help introduce more storylines, that'll actually help more introduce more games, you know? So that's like my whole opinion on it and, you know, that type of thing. But like I said before, it before they include more characters from the comic book universe, I want them to use the characters they have right now properly before they start including comic book characters because if they include comic book characters right now, I have a feeling that Sonic Team or Sega will not use them to, you know, to their full potential and it will just be a wasted opportunity. By the way, thank you all so much for watching this short video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitch and Twitter, and peace!